Okay. This is part of the pathology um, sorting out area where 99% of the sample, I would say 90% of the samples that arrive here and they would include all the pathology samples that come here via transport using taxis, our own transport um, vans which go to the GP surgeries and other hospitals as well as ward routine runs which they come in the trolleys via the porters okay. and any anybody that has any samples that need to be delivered will end up coming to this area. The samples I would include would be hematology, biochemistry, histology, virology, microbiology, immunology, blood transfusion, special biochemistry, special hematology. Uh, I may have repeated a few there. Uh, but those are just some of the sample uh, departments that have samples done every single day. And you're probably looking at between, just between chemistry and hematology, about 10,000 samples a day. Um, and so if you're looking at the overall, you're probably looking at well in excess of 20, 25,000 samples overall. And that, that would include all three hospitals. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what you have to emphasize. We've got three hospitals here. And we also get samples that arrive from other hospitals here. Okay. And at this moment of time, it's relatively quiet, but about half past two, it will get really, really busy where the GP samples will arrive and they will come in these white kegs or boxes and they will be marked from whatever surgery they've come through and then the, 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 what do you call it, um, the drivers bring them around. You may have seen the white ones, they come around. And what the idea is, is trying to sort the samples as quickly and as effectively as you can. Sometimes they'll be marked urgent, so we have to make sure our samples are in the process urgently. And, and that is a mission, because when you've got 10,000 samples, there's a lot of work to be done so with. In terms of time, from coming in to this room yes. to being entered onto the machine, okay. how long might that take? Right. You're looking at a proxy for a routine sample from a GP. They may be taken at 9 o'clock. By the time they get here, you're looking at half past 2, 3 o'clock. They may not be sorted till about 5 o'clock. So you're looking at that's already about nine ten hours mm -hmm. right we operate a 24-hour service so all the routine samples will get done we have to provide results to a gp within four days we normally do them within less than 24 hours right and there's two things in there one is obviously try and eliminate any urgent patients the other thing is the longer that we keep the samples they deteriorate mm -hmm. so that as a biomedical scientist your objective is to try and get the work out Obviously, the more work is left over, the more work you'll have for the following day as well. Um, literally, these are the different types of samples that may come in, into this sorting out area. Okay. And we've got some microbiology samples. There's some additional microbiology samples there. For hematology and chemistry samples, we tend to have a pink or red top which is an EBTA mm -hmm. sample. Can I hold it just there? Okay. That's great. And also a brown top, which is a gel. Mm -hmm. and, and these samples will provide you all the tests necessary, or some of the tests necessary for hematology mm -hmm. and, and biochemistry. Um, additional test is a, a coagulation sample, which is a green top. Again, specific colored tops, there's a reason for them. They make contain an, an anticoagulant mm -hmm. to stop the blood from clotting or an, another anticoagulant which may stop it temporarily from clotting so which, which is the green one and the gel basically is a clotted sample and what we're using there is serum whereas the green one which we're using the plasma there is a difference between the serum and the plasma mm -hmm. which i'll let you guys work it out okay okay um, Samples. These samples, they are antenatal serology tests, which get sent to Sheffield. Okay. Okay. Just maybe handwork. Okay. The, again, the larger test, a larger bottle. They're usually for blood grouping. And they will get sent away. Mm -hmm. um, again, the GP sample. Okay, so that's a fresh tissue sample that's come from surgery, and that will go off to. That will go to histology. Histology. Okay, for uh, staining and looking for if there's any abnormalities within that. And that might be a biopsy. Uh, and again, th that's just one of many that comes mm -hmm. again. Okay. There's some uh, gallstones there as well. Quite an interesting one. That's it. <laughs> gallstones. Oh, great. 
Okay. I don't know if you can see the actual stones in there. Okay. Okay. These can be tested for what composite they are. So then the treatment can be based on this. So if they are calcium, so then they can treat them using um, to, um, treatment or drugs that will destroy the calcium stones. Okay. So again, these are done um, in biochemistry. So once the samples arrive on level two, they need to be then sent to various areas for sorting out to make the whole process work as efficiently and as smoothly as possible. This area over here is for chemistry and hematology combined pathology and it's only for routine GP samples okay. and what you would have here is you'd have uh, several members of staff which are biomedical assistants mm -hmm. and they will end up numbering up and booking in samples okay. and it's an integral part of a pathology department because if the work is not booked in correctly <coughs> booked in mm -hmm. uh, the work will not be able to process so they have to be very efficient and very, very precise in what they are actually doing over here mm -hmm. um, and again um, you, you're looking at maybe four to five thousand samples coming through just within this area mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Okay. Good grief.